I'm also proof that I was flu. When I reached Dusky Bridge, she was already gone. I was so worried, so I frantically searched all over for her. That led to me finding a beautiful crystal sphere half buried in the snow. I'm sure that I was simply willing to spare her. After all, no one else could have lost the crystal sphere that night. Eh, uh, crystal sphere. This one! Pretty, isn't it? But find us, keep us! It's sphere. Where did you find it? Uh, let me see. Around uh, here somewhere. Looks about right. It was half buried in the snow. It pretty much stopped snowing by then. But there was still some falling as I walked to the bridge. Mmm. The cart accepts this crystal sphere. That's mine, okay? I want it back afterwards. Mm. There's something on it. Eh. Oh my. It's blood. What? Blood? Crystal sphere! Found, found half covered, covered in snow near, near Dusky Bridge, bridge the, the night of the crime. crime has blood, blood on, it. on it. You very edgy! By tomorrow morning, you'll be calling me Master Larry! Yeah, I like the sound of that. No one's gonna push me around anymore. Why did you want to be called Louise Tournament only a few minutes ago? When I reached Dusky Bridge, she was already gone. So, you went to the, you went to the Buddy Bridge? That's right, the main Iris. She actually flew to get to me. The least I could do was meet her halfway. But the definite was not at the bridge when you got there, you say. I guess she went back to Hazakura Temple. Well, she's a girl after all, so she must have wanted to look her best. It must be lovely to live in a fantasy land of Larry's mind. Actually, it's so depressing that I can't actually even work up the energy to point. So, what did you do next? I was so worried, I frantically, so I frantically searched all over for her. They searched all over for her. She was flying. She was flying pretty high, you know. I thought maybe she slipped on her landing and got hurt. Hey, it was more than possible. Also, when I headed out to the shack the first time, I was snacking on a banana. I was pretty sure I threw the peel somewhere around there. So, you know, wouldn't I be really this stupid? <laughs> so, did you find any signs of her so-called landing? Hmm. I don't really remember. I kept on falling over myself and kind of lost it for a while there. You fell over yourself? Yeah, the snow was deep and there was even a banana peel out there. Yep, we're stupid and then there's Lily Butts. The short of it is that you didn't find any signs of her landing correct. Then what happened next? That led to me finding a beautiful crystal sphere half buried in the snow. Half buried? It was sitting in the snow with a, with a little gathered on top of it. It was actually very on the spot, actually, but I mean, it was dark out there, too. I'm impressed. You did well to find it. No matter what you may think when you look at me, I'm a pro! My genius security guard! I used a pen light. I used a pen light I borrowed from my company to help in my search. And it, it spoke really badly as I was trying to say, Here I am to me! It does indeed look very much like the crystal sphere on Iris' hood. But I need I remind you that she was not wearing her hood that night. I'm sure that Iris was simply wearing a spare hood. Each nun is assigned their own hood, and they were assigned only one. I don't know anything about that, okay? And I was a special event, dude! Even if she did steal a spare hood, I'll forgive her. This is getting us nowhere. A destination for the day, it seems. However, this crystal sphere was found near the bridge. That is a fact. If it didn't come from a hood, where could it have come from? This is a question I am the answer. After all, no one else could have lost a crystal sphere that night. Let me confirm this one last time, Larry. The reason you thought that this was Iris are the hood and this crystal sphere, correct? Well, that's right! My gun is never wrong! I met that old bikini the next morning, and her crystal sphere was still there, safe and sound. 
Indeed. She was wearing it in this very room earlier today. This case isn't going to end without a fight. Exposing the obvious contradictions in this testimony will be easy. But I fear that all that awaits us are further mysteries. Alright, what am I doing? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, next next one. Yep. Sorry, sir. Okay. Yep. Let me find a beautiful crystal sphere and print snow, blood on it. Driver's simply wearing a spare hood. Okay, after all, no one else could have lost a crystal sphere that night. Okay. So we actually have the hood. Uh, this is always a side, but yeah. I always say that there could have been a. Could yeah, have been a is there like some sort of evidence uh, to the. Mmm. No sphere on that thing. Oh my god. So you think it was freaking Elise's thing? It was the thing? sphere from Elise Thonum's. That... True. Good job. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, but I had to... Was that her autopsy or something? No, it wasn't. It was the picture of her with the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh! 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 Clearly, that night, there was someone. Someone who lost a crystal sphere. Who was? What about a crystal skull? <laughs> Who is a stupid idiot? <laughs> Miss Elise Donham, the mentor to a stupid idiot. <laughs> the victim. I have a photo of her here. And on the end of her staff, you can see a familiar looking crystal sphere. Hey! That's my photograph! Give it back! Ouch! A crystal sphere like that is kind of easy to find. And everyone just like it on my brooch. They look nothing alike! <laughs> In any case, take a, please take a look at this. This is the victim's staff found at the scene of the crime. Uh, the crystal sphere. It's gone! <laughs> what? 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 Just what does this mean? If anyone jumped or flew across the bridge that <laughs> night, it certainly was not Iris. After all, she was not even wearing a hood. More importantly, the crystal sphere found at the Langdon site was not hers either. Th that means the one who flew and dropped the sphere was the victim, Mr. Lee Stoneham. A few of them said I never feel and I feel evident to reach a foolish conclusion. First of all, the sketch. Which I prefer to call it scribble, it's ridiculous. People cannot fly. Thus, it is rejected. You can't do that! I saw it! I put my own two eyes! In this crystal sphere, this is nothing more than a red herring. You honestly believe that? Give it some thought, and I'm sure you'll realize it as well, Myers Edgeworth. At least Donna was in her room on the night of the murder. There was no reason for her to go to Dusky Bridge. Therefore, this sphere can not be related to this case. That is all. Miss Franziska von Koma. The only people who would accept that explanation are scatterbrains and clowns. Why are you pointing at me? The victim's crystal sphere was found near the bridge on the night of her, of her murder. Yet you expect us to believe this has nothing to do with the case? The crystal sphere. It was probably thrown away at the bridge after the murder. After the murder. There is blood on the crystal sphere, isn't there? This naturally suggests that it was thrown, thrown away after the murder took place. The killer placed it there to throw the investigation up the scent. Which is the exact same reason that he drew that ridiculous sketch! What? You mean... I'm the killer?! <laughs> no way! I'm joking aside. This wouldn't be this crystal sphere appeared near the foot of the bridge. Unless this can be proven in some way, I refuse to believe this is related to the case. It makes a valid point. There is no evidence that at least Dylan left House of Corrida by that night. However, if somehow this crystal sphere could be proven to have been dropped before the victim was killed, then this case is going to transform into something else entirely. Your response, Mr. Edgeworth. And what's your final opinion on the disposition of this crystal sphere? If it is not related to the case, then this witness, who you called... 
Will I be nothing more than a monumental waste of time? The Teddy is such a severely appropriate punishment, Mayor's Edgeworth. I prove it. I prove that the crystal sphere was dropped before the murder took place. Before. Before. But just keep in mind what Larry said about his discovery of the crystal sphere. What did he say? What do you mean? Fuck. I can't really say it without giving away the Fuck. answer. Fuck. Fine, then I'll say yes, I can. <laughs> can I prove it? That isn't the issue. But simply prove it. That's the only option. That's what he'd do. That's the way Phoenix Wright would do this. Your Honor, allow me to prove something to you. I will prove that this crystal sphere is a vital link to solving this case. You will do what? That look in your eyes. You remind me of Phoenix Wright when he is cornered. That should come as no surprise. Because right now, I am Phoenix Wright. I'm indeed cornered. I order you to present your evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Evidence that proves that the crystal sphere was indeed dropped before the murder. Uh. Uh. Before the murder. Yeah. Okay. Found half covered in snow near Dusky Bridge the night of the crime has blood on it. Yeah. Half covered. Half covered. Yeah. Half covered. But I mean, the, the snow on top of it. Okay, yeah. Which means what? There's nothing on the bottom of it. Uh, snow as well. <laughs> yeah, so how can it be half covered in snow? It's like it's like a like it's a, like a little bit like poking out like that. Okay. Yeah. So. And then now the there's still crime. snow on top of it. That's what Larry said. Larry said that there was snow on top of it. Right. Oh yeah. So I mean, there's snow on top of it. Snow would. Uh, been falling uh, the yeah. murder took place after the snow had stopped falling right yes. so the only way that this could have snow on it is if it was snowing for extended period of time before the murder on it yes <laughs> that's a weird way to put it but I, I think you, you got it good job <laughs> this crystal sphere it was half buried in the snow correct that's right if it hadn't stopped snowing, then it would have been game over. The snow would have totally covered it. That is all I needed to hear from you, Larry. Your testimony makes one thing quite clear. What? When the crystal sphere was dropped, it was snowing. Even if it was ever so slightly. Snowing. On the other hand, let us look at the scene of the murder. As proven earlier today, there was no snow on the victim's body. Ah. Therefore, the crystal sphere must have been dropped before the murder. That. that? Arder, arder, arder. <laughs> On the night of the murder, the victim did indeed go to Dusky Bridge, and there, something occurred that caused the staff's crystal sphere to come loose. What? What could that have been? The sphere. There was some blood on it. Isn't there? Allow me to raise a certain possibility at this junction. The real crime scene was near the foot of Dusky Bridge. The murder didn't take place at the head and have to cut a tip of courtyard. But they are full of this is just, just a foolish piece of absolute foolishness. Just who is the fool? In which part is so foolish, Miss Von Kala? Have you been paying any attention to her this whole time, Bells Edgeworth? The sisters sell everything. She saw the victim being killed by the defendant in the Hazakur Temple Courtyard. That is not exactly true now, is it? To put it more precisely, what she saw was the murder weapon being removed from the victim's body. That's the same thing! No, it isn't! You said it yourself. Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of a blade's insertion. 
If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost from a body, that would be when the blade is removed. If that statement is the truth, then Duskin Bridge could very easily be the scene of the murder. The murder weapon was not removed. Thus, there was no bleeding. You are forgetting one right of St. Niles, Edward. At least Stoner's body was found in Hazakura Temple. On foot, it takes 15 minutes to travel from Dusky Bridge to Hazakura Temple. You mean to suggest that someone carried the body on their way? A snowmobile. I've made it this far. The only place to take this is to the end. I just want to prove that my version of the events is also perfectly plausible. Now, if the defense is ready, this court would like to have an explanation. Please show us the method by which the victim's body was carried to Asakura Temple. I'm not slowing night. There is one way that a body could have been moved. The snowmobile. <laughs> as we know, the snowmobile was used that night. It was explained as having been used to dispose of the murder weapon, but it could also have been used to carry a body. Order! 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 Yeah! This, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is completely unacceptable, by Ezreal. You've dug yourself into your own grave. What do you mean? The only one who could have used the snowmobile was the defendant. She's the one who moved the body. Is not that put the final nail in your coffin? <laughs> You're too late, Fanzuska von Koma. And in fact, the defense has proven something else entirely. We have shown that this case requires further investigation. <laughs> that? Who was the victim? At least Dunham really killed her. If her body was moved, what of for? And finally, just what does this image mean? You even need to think about that? Such a creature can never see the truth, let alone describe it! Objection! This witness certainly sits on one of the lowest possible branches of humanity. <laughs> However, he would never utter a lie that hurt a ghoul <laughs> with whom he is enamored. He drew this, so it is something that actually happened. The defense stands firm on this point. <laughs> Edgy! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> That settles it then. I cannot give a verdict under these circumstances. Right. I seem to have fulfilled my part in this. It is just as I thought. Francisco von Connor, you make a wonderful partner. Excuse me. There was one reason and one reason alone for me being here. To expose the doctors looking in this case, and then pass it on to right. Really? That's what the, this is what it's all about? You could have just told me that from the very beginning. I wouldn't have fancy whipping me off. Yeah! Now is Edgeworth. I don't care about what you were here to do. This was my chance to finally grind you under my heel. A shame that your chance seems to have slipped you by. What is she fancy? This is all your fault! Such a terrible witness! You don't have the fight to all the legal citizens stand for! Ouch! I didn't have satisfaction! He's fucking dead. <gasps> oh god! I cannot believe that the witness's testimony relates to an actual event. However, there has to be some sort of answer for the questions it raises. <laughs> Have his words here today been the truth or lies? Next time we gather in this courtroom. Those are the matters that shall be addressed. I am counting on thorough investigations by both the defense and the prosecution. And with this, this is up to you. Right. Court is now adjourned. Here you go, good job. That's the end of Miles Edgeworth with uh, Ace Attorney. Really? That was the tribulations. That was it, huh? Yep. Wow.
I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia Fey, had ever handled in a court of law. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. Dahlia Hawthorne. What I have read, I don't want to believe. What is written here? This isn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy, my ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head is on fire. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he will be able to help me with them, somehow. to be doing this. You still look a little green in the face. Uh, maybe v Viridian and I to speak. Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.2 degrees. Nothing to worry about. <coughs> anyway, I read today's trial record. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive despite the circumstances. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shishishito did not deliver the deadly blow, which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? Don't you worry about a thing, pal. I'll dig up the murder weapon myself. Or I'll eat my coat. Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old PC to the little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is... Your client's background, naturally. You mean Iris, sir? I have a feeling that we've, we've met before. All I want is confirmation, one way or the other. It says I probably won't be getting that from you. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. Guess I should get moving too. Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I've got to get to work on this bridge, pal. I'm bringing something up so we can get across to the other side. That's right. Maya's still stuck over at the Inner Temple. But don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all said, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gumshoe. <coughs> no problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? All right, I'm off. I'm off. Bye, I'm off. <laughs> Bye, I'm out. I'm I'm a, I fell. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Hang oh, in shit. there, Maya. I'll get you out. I promise. But in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. You put a broken bridge here. <laughs> Come on, please. For God's sake, I swear. Only one guy I know who could be this persistent and high strung. I'm talking about the heroin here. The heroin in my book. And it'll make you famous. God! Enough! That fool's fool, 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 who uh, foolishly accepts the foolishness of a fool's fool. Wouldn't you agree? Phoenix Wright. Huh? 
Me? Wait a second, I... I know you, you're a... Uh... Ow! Your reflex is a 9 need to shape up. I bet my brain's frying like a sunny side up and you want to grill me over a name? Fancy, you can't do that! Even as we speak, Nick's on the brink of death! No, so don't tell. Rip a dead horse! Is it another one of your American sayings? No, it's not! And I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick. Tell her, would you? Tell her she needs the model for my new picture book, Francie's Whippity Whip Trip. Gah! If you ask me to model, learn to give at least semi-coherent testimony. Before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling the truth. I saw what I saw. She flew, I'm telling you. Whoosh! Just like that dude with the red underwear. I don't think I'm gonna forgive you guys when you come back calling to me. I'm calling me when you got guys going to me. Jesus Christ, Larry. Come back to apologize. Ah. Off he goes. Hmm. It's amazing how little has changed with you in the past year. It's right. I'm about this. Ow! I used to help you, Phoenix Light. I should have known better than to try. Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect Zen record, naturally. Oh, joy. <sighs> Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? I intend this could have come a the prodigy. I see. I gave up a privacy career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Francisco was born and raised in Germany. He became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Her father was the legendary prosecutor Manfred von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he's gone from this world. Deader than a box of hammers. <laughs> Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me because of what happened to your father. <laughs> Phoenix of Eight, you will fall before me. This I promise, but it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? Yes, Crystal. Thought her name was Francisca. Oh, yeah. Now we talk about today's trial. On the next episode. Uh, Phoenix Wright. Right. Ace Attorney, Attorney Trials, trials and, and tribulations. tribulations. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time we upload every single day. Bye.